Hey guys, today's video I'm going to show you how to make the Indiana Jones Holy Grail Diary from the movie. Over the next week or so, I'm going to do probably 10 or 12 videos on every part of it. We're going to start from scratch, making the actual diary itself, to aging the pages, getting all the designs. I'll show you guys every single image, the text, what was written in there, where to write it. We'll, we'll do it step by step um, together until you have a complete 100% authentic replica of the Holy Grail diary. So keep checking back. I'm going to post a few, I guess, videos Hopefully daily. If not every day, we'll get to the next step and go on until we finish it. Even including all the inserts, the, you know, the Zeppelin tickets and train tickets and maps and the rubbing of the, you know, Knight's Shield. And we're, we'll get to all that stuff later in the series. But for today, we'll start with the actual diary. The original diary was, I think, 282 pages in total. Um... There was 135 pages of drawings and dozens of maps and different, you know, pages of writing and stuff. So it's going to be a, a pretty detailed, I guess, um, tutorial here. So first thing you want to get it is most important to start is parchment paper. I used 32 pound ivory colored parchment paper because I, I've I've actually handled one of the originals and to me it was it's it's dead on I think that's the exact paper um, the feel of the paper that was used in the movie so that's why I went with one of these so just go buy yourself a box 250 sheets you'll have plenty to do you know this diary and a million other projects with it uh, first thing we're gonna do again Here's the regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. The diary pages are six and a quarter inches tall by three and 15 16 inches wide. You can see the difference in size on top of a regular sheet of paper. We need to make 10 packets of six pages. What that means is take six pieces of paper Fold them in half like a book, like this. Cut them down to the size, and we have to make 10 packets of six pages. And then there's two packets of five pages. That'll get our 282 pages for the diary. And for the few of you who don't know what I'm talking about, is we're actually going to make this diary by hand. We're going to bound a book just like they, the, the pro book places would do. We're actually making our own diary. We want this to be authentic in every way. So unless you're able to find a six and a quarter by three and 15, 16 pre-made diary at Walmart or Michaels or wherever you go, you, you'd be lucky, but I have yet to find one and I find it it's much more satisfying making it yourself, so. First step, like I said, we're going to cut these pages down to this size and make these packets as you know, I have written down on the paper here. Step two of this process is going to be to age some of this paper. This is far too new looking to use in a diary. So as many, many people know, and you can find this all over online, the number one way of aging paper is coffee just brew some coffee take a pot you don't have to use anything fancy I, I take a regular pot fill it with water put about 10 scoops of some junk coffee in there boil it strain it into one of these lasagna pans or whatever they're called and and then I just take my paper and I soak them now you can do probably I did two packets of six every single time so I had 12 pages of diary in here at a time. And it'll take you about an hour to, I guess, do the entire thing and stain them. Once you have that in there, I'd leave it 
no more, you know, five, anywhere from five to ten minutes. It, it really doesn't get much darker after five minutes, so I only ever left them in for five minutes. This is step three. After you soak them in the coffee for five to ten minutes, I lay them out on a towel to dry. Some people actually put them in the oven at 180 or 200 degrees, but the problem with that is, is that the corners, you know, fold and everything gets wrinkled. And plus, you leave the grate marks from your oven racks on the paper. So it's a bit of a pain, but if you take each sheet and lay them on a towel, probably for, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, use another towel and just dab, dab off any of the excess coffee just so there's no puddling on anything. You'll find that in 15 minutes or so, they're already, they're still damp, but fairly dry. And that's how I like to leave them when I stack them under some pressure. That dampness gives it a little bit of, I guess, help when you, when you put it under some wood boards or some pressure and keeps everything flat and not wrinkly. Now for step four, this is where we're going to take all our pages and make a nice neat pile and put them under some pressure so they don't wrinkle. I have all my pieces done. You guys can see that. I did all the, you know, the 10 packets of six and the two packets of five. Everything's here. I, you can use anything you want to, to do this. I use this little cook, um, cutting board and then put them on top. So let me straighten that back out. I put them under pressure probably at least several hours. It's best to do it overnight because they're still drying a little bit and the, I put anything I have on top of it just to keep it nice and flat. That's the most important part so there's no wrinkles. And when everything's dry, we'll put it all together in the, the separate packets and then we're gonna sew it. Okay, now here's step five. We made all our packets. So we have 10 packets of six here and two packets of five here. Hopefully for some of you guys who didn't understand what I was talking about, we're making these packets, bundles like this. This is how it's gonna be assembled. We're gonna stack all these on top of each other. It's hard to do with one hand holding this camera. And then the other ones here. Once this gets pressurized, we're gonna bind it like they would in a book binding company. We're gonna glue it and sew it. But for now, we're gonna fold everything over, put them all on top of each other. And this is going under some pressure again overnight. What I like to do is use a piece of wood on both sides and then some clamps to clamp them down. If you don't have clamps, do what I showed you before. Just find something hard, a hard surface, a cutting board, something hard to put on top, and then just stack whatever you have heavy, whether it be books, a vase, a pot filled with water is good. Um, and then that's it. We gotta let this go till overnight. The next part of the video, we're gonna bind everything, glue it, start doing the cardboard covers, and then the leather. So check back in, oh, probably in the next several hours for the next video of part two of this, and we'll get our diary complete, and then on to the pictures and imaging and text everything the fun stuff see ya here's how i do it guys i use a couple small cutting boards and then i have these clamps and i fold them i fold our packets into the individual bundles and then clamp it off and we leave this overnight and then we'll get to the part of uh gluing and sewing and the binding in.